There's... See if you can't get lined up on this one over here coming up behind the... He's right there. Like, see the door? Window just to the left of the door. Okay. Oh, wow. He... Wow. Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. I'm lined up on this guy. Go for it. You ready? Three, two, one. Ah. That's not a bad looking muley. So since I pulled all the hunting pressure, there's a lot of animals around here. Bear, muley. You wanna... Okay. Oh, we don't want to put the hunting pressure here, but we're going to spook them off because up there is where I wanted to put the stand. Anyway, so hello and welcome to the channel and today turkey hunting. And as promised, joined by Bear from a truck and bear gaming. And uh, I have never been turkey hunting. He has. So seems pretty simple. He's going to show me how to turkey hunt. I see this going poorly. So just a regular tent blind, right? Ground blind? That should be fine. Sure. It was your idea. I said the waterfowl one. You said no. Yeah, no, probably a tent blind. Okay. Do we want to shoot that mule deer? I'm not opposed. There's turkey here. I promise you that. I'm shooting that mule deer. Eh, okay. Eh, 160. Wait. Ugh. Oh. I'm getting distracted, Bear. I found a pronghorn. It's a thing you do, I know. Now I have to, wait, pronghorn or mule deer? Uh, pronghorn, duh, no, because with the drilling rifle, I'd have to get to 50 yards to shoot them. Pick your head up, pick your head up. Come up for air. What? That was a little loud. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the warning. <laughs> That's okay, I just tried to take a 170 yard shot with uh, bird shot. Damn it. I forgot to switch the ammo. I was like, that thing didn't even flinch. What the hell? How did I miss? All right, let's, uh, hmm, about that. Okay, so I guess I'll go start setting up. <laughs> Whoops. I can't. Oh, I'm... Jesus. I am having graphical glitches. Okay. Uh, I, I may need to, I may need to restart. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> What oh man, that'll give you a seizure. What? Yeah, there's just it, it's very it's it's bad. What? I can't even describe it. It's like is it flashing? Fractal, fractal lines and flashes all over the screen. You, you might need to start thinking about a new graphics card there, bud. Maybe. I'm gonna work on. So, uh, did you already leave? Oh. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. So you're a, a turkey. You're a turkey. Okay. Uh, what was the stack? Like, they don't really give a whole lot of information. Stacks up to five. In 25 feet, and 50 feet, and 200 yards, in the same county. <laughs> do I do it like breadcrumbs? Do I leave a trail? So what types of decoys do you have? Two. Thank uh, you. Okay. So what types are they? <laughs> uh, female sentry and male strutting. I would use one male strutting for female sentry if this were I uh, See, and that's the other thing. Live. Is it... Well, is it five a piece or is it ten total? I think you just said the same thing, but okay. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, well, yes, you're right. <laughs> is it five a piece or five total? That's what I meant to say. Gotcha. I would lean that. I don't know. Look, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I didn't realize you were back in the game. Yeah, I'm back. By I, I couldn't tell. I was like, what the hell is walking up on me? Anyways. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so what, like that? A little close, but yeah. What? I? What the hell? What? What? I, I don't know. I wish I could give these to you. How far? Uh, back up? Okay, actually, time out. Which direction do the turkey normally come from in this valley? Where do they normally go through? Um, okay, so... Okay, so if we're standing here at the front of the stand, if you look almost straight north, there's the tree line on the, like, not, not near here, but there's, like... Okay, where the pronghorn are, basically. Gotcha. They'll come from that direction. Okay, so they'll come from that direction, and where do they go? Uh, they usually cross this valley, and some will head down to this tree line right behind us. Okay. So, like, I would suspect that they're going to be, like, here, and then usually what I see as the day progresses is they'll come out of this tree line right over here, and then they'll also come down this way. So, like, right where you're standing, I believe there's two or three tracks that come through here. So if they're going to be coming... All right, I'll At tell you At the start what. of the day from the right-hand side where the pronghorn are, I'd go about 20 meters out from this blind. 20 to 25, because that'll be optimum range, which is about where you're at right now. <clears throat> so, and I would do... Yeah, I guess that'll work. I don't... Wait a second. Hang on a second. Come here. Now listen. Listen. 
What? <laughs> I, I, they all make sounds like you're dropping decoys in the water. All right, then. Yeah, that should work, right? I, I guess. I have no idea. There, there's some combination. We'll ex let's experiment, you know? Sure. How are you... Okay, that's not how you hold that, but all right. Did you grab the collars before you came out here? Yes, I did. I have on three, uh, the missing... crow collar, and four is the reed collar, or what they call the mouth collar. So what you'll... I'll, I'll go ahead and blow this one so that we can hear it, but... Because that's... It's... You're currently... <laughs> I'm sorry. So you know how he always has like one hand forward for the red deer and the moose collar? Yeah. It, that's how you were holding it. So you basically had the thing jammed up your nose and you're like getting ready to like blow it out into your hand or something. So what is the purpose of that one? A crow collar is used because turkeys are very, very wary animals. And when crows are cawing, you know, just calmly, gently, they know that there are no predators in the area because crows will actually alert other animals to predators in the area, and turkeys know that. Oh. So a crow collar puts turkeys at ease and makes them more willing to come in. Okay, so, so basically you're standing there going, all's well. Ex exactly. Okay. Just like the vultures, yeah. But yeah, no, so the crow collar puts everybody at ease, lets them come in a little bit easier. Okay, so you're doing that, so then what's the, the mouth collar? Is that like a challenge call? Not necessarily. So this call at first, I love how it still has his hand up, even though he puts it in his mouth. Well, currently, actually, it's floating behind your ass by about eight inches. <laughs> All right, then. That passed through very quickly. Um, <laughs> <You're> not... <laughs> so let, let me see what this actually sounds like. So that would be a cut call. Uh, that's just a female vocalization. So it's just... Really? Yeah, female turkey, while she's out walking around, she'll make that cut noise. And you'll usually get a gobble in response to that when you're out calling. So I don't know if it does any other calls. Uh, no. Like, I think the crow one does a couple different ones, but I don't think... It does. So, easy to use but hard to master is an app tag for turkey mouth caller, also known as a turkey diaphragm call. Use these to attract any curious turkey. And now here's the thing. So you said that that one usually will respond with a gobble? Usually. Males okay. will respond with a gobble. Sometimes, some particular to male, so male turkeys are called toms. You'll have male turkeys that won't want to come in or they won't respond, but they'll move in that direction. Uh, younger toms will usually be more apt to respond, whereas older toms will come in quietly. Okay. And won't respond until they see, like, a female turkey decoy, and then they think, okay, now it makes sense, and they'll respond. See, now I'm looking here, and it says, The wild turkey crow collar, favorite among turkey hunters, the crow collar will surely get even the most stubborn of turkeys to vocalize. So what I find interesting is if I remember correctly, don't ask me where I heard it, it was someone's video or someone's stream. The crow caller was to get location because they would return, they would vocalize to it, and then the mouth caller was to actually bring them in. So in game, that may be the case. Uh, in real life, you can get some vocalization return from a crow call, but that it's it's not super likely. Hmm. What's more than likely going to happen is you're going to have something like vocalizations return to either cuts or chirps that you make with some of the turkey calls. I'm going to go over here in a minute. And I never set the, the time. Call, no, you didn't. I'll be right back. You keep talking. Yeah. I, I'm like, you know, normally I've seen him by now. I was honestly, I was expecting him to have come in already. Yeah, that's why I was figuring you, I would have you reset the time before we went on to this tangent. But, you know, whatever. I forgot. Um, I can tell. Oh, a turkey just flew over, dude. No Seriously? Bullshit. I yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Holy crap. Hang on. I'm down. Stay down. That's a, a I'm not doing. Well, that's a female. Oh, she's coming back. She just flew over my head. I could have swatted her with the butt of my shotgun. She just flew back over the the, the thingamabobber. She's T your uphill west. Yeah, I saw her. I saw her go by. Now downhill. Okay. Do I still want to set time or just chill? I'd say sneak your way back here. I think we're doing all right. I'll go ahead and get on the uh, the crow collar. Because, huh. see, now, as far as game mechanics work with the range, attraction range these things have, in theory, the game right now is calculating animals that we can't see, right? 
Right. Does spawn in render range is 418 meters, spawn out is 450. These have an attractive range of, I believe, 524. Gotcha. So if anything gets anywhere near close to being rendered in, then it has an 8 level attraction strength being applied to it. Gotcha. Which is kind of one of the reasons I picked this area, because it's sort of in the middle of a lot of things, a lot of traffic I've seen. Right. So should I be calling too, or... Hey, can now? Okay, here's a question. Can you overcall? In real life, yes. Uh, game, I don't know. But uh, the way you would normally do it, if you're if you're hunting solo, you'll be either in a ground blind of some variety or sitting up against a tree, uh, calling, listening for responses. Especially if you know the area the turkey you're going to be in and you know you're, they're going to be passing through there. You sit tight and you wait for them to come through. If you don't know where the birds are, if you're hunting fresh property, you're actually going to kind of spot and stalk or call and stalk. So you move around the property very quietly, calling while you move around. Yeah, so deliberate turkey hunting is actually really, at least in real life, difficult. <laughs> you, you have to know there are going to be birds there. You have to know where those birds are going to end up being. Um... And you have to get them to vocalize. Yeah. So I didn't know if you wanted to run through some of the, the stuff we pre-prepped, but I was going to talk about bow hunting a little bit and why I'm not bringing a bow. Why Did you bring a bow at all? No, I brought a drilling rifle. Do you? Cool. Do you okay, I'm going to set the time. I'm just going to run and do it, and I'm probably going to just, just to do it. Uh, bright and early? Bright and early. What's bright and early for turkey? Five. I do a little before sunrise, honestly. Five-ish, four-ish should be good. Just early. How's that? Perfect. That's five-ish. By ish, I mean exactly. Pronghorn. Yeah. I hate that call. Oh, why? What do you mean, why? That is the most demonic, I ate your baby laugh I've ever heard. <laughs> I can see that. I mean, that that is... When the first time I came to this map, I think it ended up being nighttime. Like, the first time I heard one, it, that that call, it was nighttime, and I about extruded a brick from my rectum. I think that's a politically correct way of saying that. Yeah, my scent killer. So, one of the things that I kind of wanted to put out there, you know, the reason why we're hunting with shotguns and not bows, I know I'm using the 20-gauge camouflage shotgun. Drilling rifle. Uh, Ooh, I'm on the wrong round. There we go. <laughs> yeah, make sure make sure you've got that proper. So the reason we're using the shotguns and not a bow is because normally bow hunting with turkeys, you use a very specialized arrow, which I do not think they included in the game. This is uh, broadhead used for turkey hunting. They call it the gobbler guillotine for obvious reasons. Uh, and funny thing, a lot of guys are afraid to use these because they're big and they're sharp. And what they end up doing is they use a plastic straw to cover the blades in flight. Guys will put straws over the blades to uh, protect their fingers, and then when they shoot it, the blade will cut through the straw, and then guillotine said uh, turkey. Yeah, the small game arrows, so they don't have the blades like that, but they do have uh, four little things that pop out. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, those are like, but they're I not... call those uh, thumpers. They're, well, they're, they're not they're... built to cut, per se. No, they're trapping oh, wait, wait, wait. It. Hey, we've got a Tom coming in right there. Uh, to the right, uh, northeast. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some calming going on. He's strutting in right now. Do you, do you see him? No, I don't. A little bit east of north, uh, next to a bush. A little bit east of north, next to a bush. He's walking oh, way out left there. to right. Yeah. The two minor? Yeah. Yeah, I see him. See? Man, did I call it? It actually came out of that tree line. I'm not going to lie. I made half that crap up. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just see him fly overhead. I was like, oh, he's going to want details or he's going to start arguing where we have to put crap and it's going to take an hour. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they pass exactly through here. Oh, wow, they actually strut. Yeah, he, he was strutting, man. Nothing. Uh, he called, so I'm sure I can call him in. He called? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, here he comes. He's moving right oh. to left right now, right towards us. Oh, he's almost there. Oh, yeah. How far is that? 45 yards. You want me to call on you shoot or what? 
Oh no, you're you're <gasps> bear close, close right, 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 right here, right here outside this window, coming up through these trees. Male or female? A gobbler, right there. He's on the other side of that tree. Just he's crossing behind the door. Son of a biscuit! Like you, well, got... I'll keep calling. You you line up on that one. There's another one over there, female, but she's in our wind. There's. See if you can't get lined up on this one over here, coming up behind the. He's right there. Like, see the door? Window just to the left of the door. Okay. I see the female. Female's over by her decoys. Oh, wow. He, wow. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, let me know when you're ready. I'm lined up on this guy. Go for it. You ready? Three, two, one. Got mine? Got mine. <laughs> Where'd that female go? Uh, she's gone. Yeah. Uh, she's actually running off into the woods, right? There. What? Got her. Okay. I I must have... I don't know. I think you were a little short. Well, I... So... Oh, I broke it. What do you mean you broke it? Oh, that's not good. Why does it say... Wait. Um, I'm staring at the back of my shotgun and the shell is floating midair. Nice. Okay, I need to figure out, um... Oh. <laughs> uh, oh no. What? I can't ADS. Oh no. Like, the gun is open and the shell is like halfway out, like I pulled it out, and it's floating midair, and when I ADS, I'm staring at the latch mechanism for the barrel. How do I... Can I finish the reload? Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, we're good. I fixed it. It was just a call of the wild thing. So, gotcha. as I said, I've gotten turkey before. I'm not going to be impressed by anything unless we find us a diamond or a rare today. But it's the hunting aspect. Uh, well, and that's the thing is, like, this one, it was a very... It, it was a cool shot. Uh, I got everything. Lungs, thoracic, lower neck. Looks like everything that went for the head missed. <clears throat> Yeah, mine was literally all skull and upper neck. Perfect shot. Right. I forgot you're supposed to headshot these things. I, I went body. That was my problem. Okay, so he's a 4.1. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's more of those pronghorn. I'll let you grab this one. I don't know if you hit it at all at first, but I'll let you grab it. Uh, I tried to shoot it in the cars. I mean... I aimed for the head, but I don't know if I hit it or not. It, this is a little bit further away. Well, I, 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 I forgot which barrel I was shooting from. Nope, that was all me. <laughs> It was all me. I got 800 something. I got a perfect. Cash. Uh, wait, what? It was traveling left when I shot at it, right? But it's showing me that I shot at it as it was traveling right, except for one of my rounds, like one of the shots, is going 90 degrees to the rest of them. Yeah, so I have the spread coming over the skull and hitting the neck, and just one BB made a 90 degree turn is actually coming from the other direction on top of that i killed it 142 percent uh well yeah i killed mine like 290 percent it was pretty slick it's dead and a half yeah <laughs> mine was almost three 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 times dead <laughs> triple dead wow that's broken and do you want me to call while you're doing that sure what am i doing so, mouth caller uh yes or should we do crow call because we got a calm them down because yeah just... I'd, I'd go crow call first actually that's not a bad idea any rate at a steady rate <laughs> that's yeah okay yeah <laughs> number three it, it shows to me why you don't shoot at a bird that's strutting you have a very very small target once they're not strutting, they stick their neck back out, and it gives you a lot easier shot, especially if you're bow hunting. Uh, but even shotgun hunting, I prefer a not strutting shot. Callers, real quick. Obviously, in the game, they have the reed caller, which is number two, if you want to pull that up. Working on it. So the reed callers, they're great calls, but they are really, really hard to learn to use. Uh, and I'm glad they mentioned that in the game but they are incredibly hard to learn to use. They take a lot of practice. Diehard turkey guys will stay, at, like, be at home in the offseason just practicing with a read call for hours. It's insanity, but, you know, teach their own. The thing that surprises me is the calls they didn't include in the game. Box callers, it's literally a little box with a handle on the top. And as you slide it against the, uh, you slide the paddle against the box, it creates that same cut, cut, cut noise. You can actually imitate gobbles, 
chirps, yelps, all kinds of different turkey noises. Uh, and they're really easy to use. Like they're good for a first timer. Slate calls, they're a little bit harder to use than the box, but still relatively simple. It's a wooden dowel that you would hold like a pencil and rub against the slate. And that can actually create all those noises. The slate will either be a actual piece of slate or a piece of glass that's been roughed up so it'll make those sounds. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Basically. Okay. Same basic premise. Uh, now, really, really, really diehard turkey guys and some native populations, some very rural popula populations, use a very old school turkey call called a wing bone call. That one is... It, it literally is just what it sounds like. You take the drumstick and the flat from the wing, you take those three bones, you nip the ends off with a saw, hollow them out, stick all three of them together, glue them together, and it becomes a call. I've never used one, but guys that use them swear by them. There are guys that have custom-made, scrimshawed, turkey wing bone calls. Like, I've seen guys add bits of antler to them. I've seen guys decorate them with spurs. All kinds of craziness. The, there's three things that you look for in a trophy on a turkey. There's obviously the fan, the tail on the back, and then there's something called the beard. If you look at the picture of the bird on the right, you can see those feathers hanging straight down. They're, They're actually modified feathers that look like hair. Yeah, it looks like a beard. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is that a bird can have more than one beard. Each tuft is considered a beard. The current world record is a bird with 13 beards. And they start right in the center of the chest, and they just kind of work the way upwards up its neck. They're, it's crazy looking. 13 but, uh, beards. 13. So, wait, so each tuft is... So those birds in the photo have a beard. A beard. And there's a world record that has 13. Yes, they are crazy looking. But the beard is going to be your first thing along with the fan. The other thing that's really a big trophy thing for guys are the spurs. So if you want to jump to 10 instead of 9, I know I went a little out of order. Okay. That's a spur, and it's a nasty one at that. Male turkeys have these for fighting, for, you know, self-defense. And there are hunters every year that get messed up by those spurs. They get stabbed in the hands. They get cut up by them. Those spurs are no joke. Uh, you know, and the one thing I don't really like about this game, specifically I'm going into the trophy stuff now, all of your trophies in the game are full body mount, which the majority of actual hunters wouldn't do. So if you want to pull up number nine, then the mount number nine, this shows a very typical mount where it's the fan and the beard being displayed with like a wooden plaque. Yeah, you don't see mounts, like full body mounts of turkeys very often by most hunters. They usually do something like that with the fan and the beard, uh, just because it's a simpler mount. Sometimes if they got a bird with crazy spurs, they'll also preserve the either the entire foot with the spur or just the leg section with the spur attached. And that'll be part of the, the mount as well. Hmm. But yeah, the thing is, I'm really happy with how the turkey hunting is. Like the strutting looks good. The way the birds come in looks really good. The only thing... <laughs> From the two is... birds you've seen walk in? Yeah. You know you don't have to crouch in here, right? Well, I know I still make noise on my meter, so I always worry about that. Well, quit moving around. The one thing I, I don't like about the turkey hunting thus far, and this is just... As someone who's been turkey hunting, we set the time for really early in the morning. We set up a stand. We made a couple calls. Actually, we didn't even call yet before that bird came in. And then we made a couple calls, three birds walked right up, and we shot all three. Well, uh, I've never seen that happen. Something to keep in mind, though, video game. So what might have been happening based off the game mechanics, those birds may have already been coming in from previous calls. And when we switch right. to, when we switch the time, they may have been traveling to the next zone, which should be down there by where that pronghorn's laughing at us. Yeah. And then you, and then they turned for the decoys, then you let out the call, and that brought them in the rest of the way. The other thing that's funny that I can hear in the call that you're using, mm -hmm. that read call, they actually didn't record a read call for that. That sounds like the uh, the little scratchy one. That's either the box or the slate. Now, granted, read calls can make those same calls, but if you'll notice at the very start of them how it sounds very scratchy... Yeah, that to me sounds more like a box or a slate call. Hmm. Uh, granted, that's probably because the sound guy didn't want to have to spend 
several hours learning how to master a read call. It was just easier to well, pick not, up the box and go squeakity, squeakity, squeakity. You say the sound guy, but I, I know you're not that involved with the games community. You forget that the community, ma uh, is it community manager or community rep, whatever, is a hunter. Like, he probably knows how to use a read caller. Really? Huh. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't seen any more birds. Yeah. Well, let's walk. Uh, there's nothing stopping us from walking, Bear. Yeah, true. If I hop out and we see a bird, then at least we know there's one nearby. By the way, hang on. Can you stop a second? Stand yeah. next to that bird. Is that right? Like, that bird's neck is damn near thicker than my bicep. Yeah, it's not that big normally. Um. You think? I'm just these saying. Are, these are a little off scale. No, a little? I will say this, they included the, the beard on the decoy, which I'm, I'm really happy about. I, I'm not going to lie, if I came across a turkey this size in real life, I would probably be a little scared, shotgun or not. I mean, they're they're decently sized birds, but yeah, this is a little extreme. But I, I'm, their necks are not the size, you, this, his, this neck is the thickness of your thigh. Well, you know. A peck from that thing would probably hurt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the science, yeah. You know, pain. Pain bad. <laughs> what time we started? Five? What? Shh. Oh my god. Move what? back. Back, 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 back. We gotta go back. Why? Because there's turkeys coming. You're kidding. No, I just got a call to the north where I said they would come from. I'm right a second. See what I mean about patience? The second we walk out. Actually, we're far enough away, just walk normally, and just head straight back for the thing. Bird flying in over your head. There's a bird that literally just flew over I know. and landed. Shush. I know, I was about to shoot it, and then I realized, oh, I did have bird shot loaded. I thought... Hang on, it's going to pass by the Did you get it? No. But Where I did it go? Towards the bison. You find anything over there? No, I did not see here nothing. So no. I say we pick up, set up somewhere else. Yeah, let's do some walking around, see what we can find. Okay, so there goes. All there's right. the two. I see several hens. I don't the see. The gobbler is straight up the hill from the hens. It's currently walking away. See the group of trees? Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. All right, I will break out the mouth collar. Check right, your. I'll go back with the crow. Okay, I'm going to. Oh no, you, you'd be ready with a gun. It, it's, it's, you're ready with that gun, right? Because it just took flight and it's flying over you. 